school. I remember walking out onto the cricket pitch and everyone be like, oh, wow, they did like Beckham's coming. And I was like, you know what? Great. You can call me whatever you want in the realm of that film. Hi, I'm Pallavi Sharada, and I play Asha Moria in the film Wedding Season. I love the fact that Asha is a non-conformist. She's a maverick and doesn't want to follow the cues of what's been generationally passed down to her as what's an acceptable pathway for someone of her background. You know, she's incredibly bright, incredibly driven, incredibly empathetic, and is open to love. However, wants all of those things to happen on her terms and myself and someone who's believed in my own voice and agency and have followed the path that my heart desired with a lot of hard work. I didn't think that we had seen a nuanced woman of South Asian descent in this situation before in our contemporary environment on screen and the opportunity to work amongst such a stellar ensemble cast of South Asian artists, both in front of the camera, behind the camera, to work with an actor like Suraj, um, it was absolutely a privilege and an honor because I think we've all had the intention in our work to breathe life into the nuance of what it is to be a person of South Asian descent and to move away from, you know, painting monolithic stereotypes around what it is to be Indian or, or, you know, Bangladeshi or Pakistani and, you know, often being grouped together as one, even though there are so many subcultures within that region. And I think this film just beautifully chose one of those subcultures and ran with it and created a story which I have witnessed so many times and my friends have witnessed. And the language around diversity is, I think, was essential for a time where no one even saw that there was a paucity of opportunity for people of color or people that didn't come from like a dominant host lens. But I feel like now that that has been acknowledged, that lexicon, it's a little bit, it's small, you know, it keeps us small. We're still a box that needs to be ticked if we're talked at, about as diverse actors or, oh, it's so much great. Isn't it great how diverse we are? It's like, no, we're just people. You know, I, I, I really don't like walking into a room and people saying, isn't this great? There are so many diverse faces on the wall. It's like, no, they're just faces on the wall. I didn't, I don't walk around thinking of myself as brown or diverse. You, you've imparted that and you've placed that gaze on me. It is so exciting to see the content that is coming out and the various subcultures within the South Asian archetype being, being represented on screen and having you know, so many great industry leaders and mentors now where there were absolutely none. And I mean, Gurinder Chadda, someone I looked up to when I was growing up, she made Bender Like Beckham. It came out when I was at school and that was a game changer, you know, for how I was perceived at school. I remember walking out onto the cricket pitch and everyone be like, oh, wow, Bender Like Beckham's coming. And I was like, you know what? Great. You can call me whatever you want in the realm of that film. And earlier than that, there were comedians out of the UK doing sketch shows like Goodness Gracious Me, and we were so young, but we'd stay up on a Saturday night to watch these Indian Punjabi people doing funny things on TV from Australia because we had never witnessed that. Or a Bollywood film would be played on like the, the international foreign film channel once a week. And my brother and I would just like these obscure films that were like no one had ever seen. We as ch children in Australia needed to see that. And I ended up working in Indian cinema for a while because for me, that was the only place that I felt like I might have a home. And it was only later in, in my journey that I've, you know, made that leap of faith in a very Asha-esque way to follow my heart and say, I should be able to work in the country of my birth, for example. So I, I just think that now the conversation is just so much bigger, better. I think of the women of my mom's generation. I know the struggles that someone like she went to. She was a professor of engineering. And I know that she had a tough time at work. I saw it and I have empathy for that. And I want that to be a story that we tell and we recognize. And, you know, a lot of us have inherited that trauma as well from, from the generations above us. Um, but we just put a stop to it at this generation. I don't want my friends' kids to be called names at school. Like, it's just, it's not necessary. It's done. It's over. <laughs> my father's seen the film, and I think obviously knowing me, 
so well. He he said he really teared up towards the end because he was like, whoa. 